Hi everyone, it is a beautiful Saturday. So today I just decided to do something normal. So I want to show you how my typical Saturday looks like, lazy Saturday. So I'm usually out and about just living my life, my best life. So I thought I might as well show you a typical boring Saturday in Shanghai because we still, we are grandparents at some point. Like if you live this far away from people, you're gonna spend a lot of time alone. So this is my alone, loner Saturdays. So I might as well show you how my typical Saturday looks like. I leave my dishes for the weekend. Uh, don't judge me. So I'm going to start by washing my dishes, my pile of dishes that I've accumulated throughout the week. And then we're just going to chin chill. I'm going to try and clean my apartment because tomorrow I'm going out. But I don't feel like vlogging tomorrow. I usually vlog when I'm doing something nice. So I thought I should vlog when I'm doing something boring. So I'm coming to you live with no brows nothing yeah that's just to show you a normal saturday who's walking around with brows in their home really this is me when i'm chilled i need to edit i've been working on a music video i did my first music video tomorrow i'm meeting my friend lilani i haven't seen her in so long but i just want to take time and enjoy that and not feel the need to show it it's a productive day in a sense because I'm getting this music video out the way. I'll upload the trailer on my channel, but I don't want to flood my channel with other people's work. Do you get it? I'm only getting started in photography and I think there's gonna be tons of other proje projects that I can just put up my trailer, but I don't wanna put the whole thing because it would mean every time I do my own side projects that are not related to what I'm passionate about I'm gonna be posting them so yeah so let's wash dishes and then yeah I have my music because I usually listen to music and today I woke up feeling like South African music so enjoy Mwah. happy Saturday happy normal Saturday finished uh, cleaning my dishes that's the first part I do and on a Saturday that's the easiest thing to manage for me and I love doing it and then the next part is to clean this area of my kitchen and then the floor I just find my kitchen the easiest part to manage really so yeah mm, I'm eating biltong I just went to South Africa to visit so I just came across some leftover biltong on my kitchen counter 
So now I'm just gonna clean this part. It's really clean already. But oh well, there's extreme dust in China, so you have to wipe surfaces all the time. So the next place I'm gonna be cleaning is, will be my bathroom, and then I'll probably chill after that and just get uh, order something to eat and start editing. Tell me about yourself. Comment down below. Do you love cleaning? Does it make you happy? Don't you like the feeling when your house is like extremely clean? Don't you just love that? Well, I enjoy that feeling and knowing that I've bleached everything is just like so beautiful. For me, the smell of bleach is everything. That's like we have cleaned actually. We are ready for a new week and yeah oh and i'm watching a south african youtuber actually so i stopped watching or listening to music so now i'm on i'm on youtube central i haven't really watched youtubers in a while well south african youtubers but i like zuzi wakubu so i'm watching her channel her videos now i just like her spirit it's very calming so Zuzi Weh, if you do come across this video someday in your life, hey, from China. And yep, I'm watching your expectations versus reality video, which is quite nice actually. So this is actually, <laughs> speaking of expectations versus reality, what you see on my channel is always me getting stuff done, but this is typically how much of a grandmother I am. So this is me on a normal Saturday doing work and getting stuff done and in my computer laying in bed, dishes not washed all week. So welcome to my reality actually. Welcome, welcome. You can tell I don't really cook. I mean, does it show? Does it show? Does my kitchen show? that I don't ever cook. Well, I don't have time. So now I'm done cleaning my surfaces. They look crisp. I look like a serious case of OCD. <gasps> I found my coffee! Simba Ke. Simba Ke. This is Simba Ke. This is Starbucks. And excuse my nails. Oh, this is so real actually. I stopped doing my nails because when I did them, uh, where I live, they dug through my soul. Like this is how I took a break in South Africa. This is how I took a break from doing my nails in Costa Rica. There's always gonna be that one vicious nail technician that's just gonna injure you for the rest of your life. So I took a 10 year break after that happened to me in Costa Rica. And the same thing happened to me when I was still just after finishing the trick, you know? So now I'm back to these lives, these mixed stubs. Like my nails are stubs again, but I find I need to eat my nails when I'm focusing, like when I have so much going on. Like now I have so much editing and creative things that I'm doing on the side and I'm excited and it's like, Neh! so what I want to do when I'm, when that's happening, is eat my nails like I eat it out of stress and when I need to finish something like I need to get stuff done so I eat my nails so now this is my life hey like I can't be a slay queen I just can't it doesn't work well and the best place to do nails in Shanghai is now one hour away from me so it's like, do I need to take that long trip only to come home so late? And I can only go there during the week. And when I get there, I have to get home at 11 and it's on a Thursday during a work day. Then I mess it up after one week and it's just too much of a struggle. I don't like the technicians in my area. So this is my life now. This is her life, but I need these. Like I need to grind on something when I'm on the grind. Look at that. Like who whose kid is this? Can anyone claim this child? Anyway
anyways that's besides the point now I'm gonna clean my little microwave now a new breed of women has been created and we need to celebrate that and let them order in okay let them order take in oh how clean is this how clean like that satisfies my soul right there like this is OCD I love it oh and it's in Chinese I don't know what the fuck I'm doing half the time but I do it anyways I just press whatever and take my food let's warm up my coffee cafe oh. we all know what the start button is the next place I'm gonna clean is my floor so I had to cover my workout pants with a towel because I'm not trying to get bleach on my pants like I've messed up so many pants just that from the way I clean so I'm gonna clean my floor now my kitchen floor and then call it a night because this video is taking too long I made a funny clip because I'm so random like when I talk to myself I start doing crazy shits so let me know what you think of my skits do you want more of my skits do you enjoy my humor my sense of humor I think I'm funny if I wasn't me I would want to be my friend actually I think I'm very funny but it depends on who I'm around if I'm around you know those people that need to take themselves seriously then I'm serious but if I'm around crazy people, I'm crazy. If I'm around ghetto people, I'm ghetto. Yeah. Okay, so enjoy watching me clean. I still kneel down. Like, I don't believe in mops. That's why I don't have a cleaner. And in China, the most affordable thing that you can have is getting a cleaner. So to pay someone to clean your house, they will charge you something as little as um 30 rmb uh which is like 60 rands an hour so you can afford to actually have someone clean for you for the rest of your life but i just don't like i don't fucks with those bitches hey eh? i just can't they are so not neat and this is coming from my first year in china like the lady that used to clean our first my first apartment which was a shared apartment she was freaking messy as hell you know like she didn't clean at all the woman did not clean we just paid so much money just for someone not to clean you know so i like to get hands on when i'm cleaning so i don't want someone cleaning for me unless they they're gonna like cater for my needs and the best people to hire in China are from the Philippines they clean so well they're just raised like that you know so in China when they clean they just don't they just brush up the surface man and I'm trying to go in I'm trying to go in on these dirty floors you know so yeah deep down somewhere in china there's a woman kneeling down there's an african woman that's kneeling down to clean i don't believe in vacuum cleaners i just want to do this the old way i know there's so much technology now i should probably get a vacuum cleaner but I just want to do it like this. I need the smell of bleach at my house. So yeah, this is how I clean. And this is why I can only clean once every weekend because then I can't do this this much labor every single day. This used to be my job at home. Like I grew up with uh, how many three older brothers so this was my chore at home because African proverbs man but my brothers were very cultured as well they were very 
uh, nice. Like the, my mom raised us to take turns. So they did clean as well. I enjoyed doing the most. Like my mom was harder on me for cleaning than she was. She was a bit more lenient to my brothers. My one brother cleans is quite clean. Like I remember cleaning, taking turns with him. So I just remember Ganyezi cleaning a lot. That brother that I went to Durban July with, he was like, he still is, he's so clean. And I was even ashamed, you know, when I came home, he was the one that cleaned. I felt so bad, you know, because now I'm from living by myself and I don't have to really clean up after myself. So now when we were at home, I was actually embarrassed because I was this girl that came back, you know, back to Africa but she didn't know who she was anymore and she was just sleeping all the time but this was because of jet lag and then I was just embarrassed watching my brother clean after me and I was like oh I didn't even wash dishes when I was there but this is why we go home like you want to feel at home and you know so yeah that's a cute little story so Kanyezi, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Whoever's gonna marry you is one lucky woman. He can cook so well. We all cook the same way. Like the entire family can freaking put up a mean, a mean meal. I actually have so many personal recipes that I could share because that's just how how much we love cooking as a family oh my kitchen is looking hello hello clean the next place i'm gonna clean is my bathroom and probably call it a night like my bedroom is the worst place on earth like i don't know who's gonna clean that for me but it definitely isn't me oh so welcome to my boring vlog boring 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 i'm sure you're probably sitting there if you're still watching this thank you so much you are a real mvp after you there should actually be no more now i'm gonna attack this area over here Ooh the entrance hall. I can't let bleach ruin my only gym pants. Grandpa Jim Jim. Grandpa Jim Jim. But my memories only happy images. This is for the hood. This is for the kids. This one is for Titi. Nini, Nini, Aisha. Candace, Lauren, Kiki, Aisha. Excuse me. There's too much bleach in my tray. That's bleach coming to haunt me. Coming up my nostrils like. Boom. 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 If you're judging me, you've never, ever, ever, if you're exposed to this kind of cleaning, you will never want anything else again in your life. Understand this. This is why husbands do not clean. Because I'm the type of person, I want my house clean like this. And if you're gonna rob me and just brush things up and suck the air out of the space and then call it cleaning, we're actually getting a divorce. Like, no. No, I would rather stay with a lazy person who will not touch anything than stay with someone that tries and then they just gonna brush. You know, there's even that dirty cloth. Like, how do you take a, a cloth that has been sitting uh, for decades and you just use that and you just 
wet it a little bit and then go over your mess. Like that smell, that smell. This is what I find frustrating and this, that's what that woman did. That woman that we paid every month so much money to clean our apartment. She used to never wash her mouth. Like it was freaking, you know some places when you walk out in China and they've just cleaned and it smells like throw up. Like who is doing this? Why are they doing it? Why does it smell like throw up and you're cleaning? Can you smell it actually? Can do, does your nose work? The next place I'm gonna tackle now is my bathroom. So I, I still feel like I can soldier on and I also want to finish cleaning actually tonight. So I want to finish the entire apartment so this video could take really long. But yep, let me clean my bathroom now. Enjoy! I start with the toilet. Oh, strong. 